Quiet on set. And action. We're back in in three, two, one. Kristen Bags, what an honor it is to have you here with me. Well, not with me, but here on the show. And um, Julie, we're going to need you to focus. This is not a chocolate bar. These are guests. They're on the air. You have your own chocolate bar. You're here to help us understand the male perspective on the interview. Yes, Julie. Yes, I am. Um, I'm new. new thing I was talking about, it starts with the inside. I mean, outside looks do matter. Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> you see, us men, we're very visual and physical beings. Physical? I, I see the visual. You know, the outside uh, attraction, that's what we're initially attracted to. But it doesn't give women the excuse not to keep that peace soap thing working with inside themselves. That's what really keeps a man. So is that what keeps a man? I mean, really? No self-help books or 10 to a million steps are gonna work? <laughs> Women try it all. I feel as though the outside attachments men make, our physical, takes the inside attachments. Say, if a woman tries to move on to another, does the ugliness she carries not make her unattractive to the next man? It only does it if she allows it to, Julie. You see, Men, we need our freedom. You know, not so much to disrespect a woman's virtue, but just enough to give us our freedom and our authority. But a real man, he knows how to choose the right one, and she becomes the chosen one. So men choose. Of course we choose. Some of us take advantage of our choice factors, and then in turn hurts you women. But uh, the perfect woman, when you find her, that's powerful within itself. Well said, Mr. Bags. Um, it's been a pleasure having you here on Hoodie Julie, and I hope all my sisters out there got some peace and a very refreshing insight. Thank you for tuning in again to the place that rejuvenates, empowers, and regulates pure, unadulterated, inner beauty living. Come back again <laughs> next time. <laughs>